back, my name is Lynn. Today I am participating in a floral challenge that two ladies issued a couple weeks ago. Their names, channel names are Heidi Sambul and Domer Home. Hopefully I am pronouncing those right. But I was actually going to do this floral thing myself as far as the project that I'm doing today, but I decided I would just upload it uh, along with theirs and kind of just make it a little bit more fun or whatever. So um, their challenge was to make something floral related decor wise for our homes. Um, there was no budget or anything. Um, we basically just show you what we made and kind of say how much we spent, that type of thing. So I had fun making these uh, wreaths. I made three different ones and two of them are very similar and then I have another one that is using like faux succulents. And I'm gonna just show you guys kind of how I put them together. I'm no expert by any means. <laughs> and I actually saw um, after I had planned to make the wreaths that Ashlyn Carter, I don't know if you guys follow her, she did a wreath very similar to the ones I was making. I did get the idea to buy the flowers off of Amazon from her, which was a really good idea and I loved um, the flowers and everything. So I'm gonna link all of that uh, information down below and stuff if you guys are interested in looking for some of these products yourself. But anyways, enough rambling. <laughs> Let's get into the video. All right, so these are the rings I used. I bought two of these from Pat Catans. They're just the 10 inch size and then I bought some flowers off of Amazon. The bouquet of flowers of peonies here is one of them. And then I had some other filler that I'd bought from Pat Catans as well. And I didn't use all of that in the wreaths or whatever, but a lot of this is just kind of filler I had grabbed earlier. So I was just kind of using that uh, for filler. And I also bought some succulents off of Amazon. But basically the first thing I did was just kind of lay my stuff out and tried to get an idea as to how I wanted to look. So I just kind of experimented, played around a little bit with it until I actually uh, started hot gluing it. So yeah, that is how I am fastening my stuff today. I just used a hot glue gun and then I'm just kind of filling in things as I thought um, looked best. Now I made three wreaths total. There's two that are fairly similar and then there's another one that I'm gonna show you. It's more like the grapevine style with the succulents and stuff. So I think I'm gonna say I spent maybe around $30, give or take. Um, I had, yeah, some of this wasn't used, like all of it on the wreaths or whatever. So uh, that's about my best guess I'd say, but I'll be sure to link the stuff that I bought online, like Amazon, I'll link that below. But yeah, basically I'm just filling my stuff in until I thought it looked right. And it's really, there's not a science to it. So this is the first wreath that I had made and I actually gifted this one so I don't have it myself anymore, but that is how the first one looks. And then this was the second one. It's just a little bit simpler. I didn't use quite as many like filler greens and stuff, but I really loved how it turned out. I feel like it could work anywhere. I'm not sure where I'm gonna use it yet. At this point I have it in my bathroom, but we'll see once. I might use it on the door or somewhere else. But okay, this is the other wreath I'm talking about. And this one I used pretty much just my fake succulents. And I had the wreath on hand already. It's not like a full size grapevine wreath. It's the smaller one. I'd say probably, I don't know, 10 or 12 inch at the most. And I've used this one a lot of times before. I just kind of switch things out. But I am hot gluing these because I will probably use it on my outside door and I know it's gonna be you know, slamming shut and stuff. So I don't want it to fall off. Like I don't want this stuff to fall off. So I am gluing this stuff. But, uh, so I filled that in until I thought it looked right. And then I also had a Y, which is the last, the letter of our last name, Yoder. So I had that one on hand and I have often used it on this wreath. So I thought I'd just use it again. So I put it on the other side and just tied it with a simple uh, twine or like ribbon type of thing. And that is how this turned out. It's nothing fancy, but I like it. I love succulents and I think it'll work well for spring and summer. I hope you all enjoyed this little video today and I hope it inspires you to try something yourself. I will be adding this to the playlist that the ladies have created. So be sure and go check out all the other floral DIYs. It should be fun and I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe. And also if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I would really love that. 
So thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed week, guys. Thank you.